All right, I got three Nietzsche 519A SM303, 3000K. I'm gonna flow them onto this FW3A triple board and then do a quick D-dome um, using the method that I've been using and I'll show you how it works. I don't know if I can make two videos, one video with the magic of YouTube. So this might be two videos. Five nineteen A. That is the negative, and on this board, the negative goes out on all three LEDs. I know I'm not this scared. There we go. I already took the other LEDs off. I know the board's kind of dirty. Not easy doing this. So basically you got negative, negative, negative on the outside, so I make sure that it's oriented the right way and the little black dots on the outside. Place them in the solder, always double check that the pads are oriented the right way. And then I'll look again. Yep. You can see the little black dot. Little black dot. Little black dot. Take this. Put it on the hot plate. Put it really off. Push them a little bit, make sure they bounce back. And get this off of there. Try to clean up some of that solder. Should be good. Let's see, turn off some of this light. Check it with the multimeter. Make sure it's good. Positive and negative. There we go. All right. Now that it's hot, I'm doing the 
reflow. <clears throat> this is when I like to de-dome them. And what I do is I keep these Q-tips in the shop for cleaning stuff. <clears throat> and what I do is I cut an end off. And now you have a dull, very safe end to use because there's glass underneath this dome. <clears throat> and people have been cutting them and pulling them off. I've never pulled them off. I, I feel like that would be kind of risky. Um, what I do is, I won't hold over the tweezers. I always come from the corner, like not straight on. I don't really, it's round. I don't think it really matters, but come from the corner. <clears throat> and now that it's hot, you push real slow, but even. And there's the dome and it comes off really clean and <clears throat> I almost hope it didn't come off. Man, my hands look bad. So see that shimmer it came off really clean. You can see it right there. But if you have to clean it up, you have this. So what I do, even if it comes off good, I go around and I push from the inside out because all the residual dome is on the outer circle. There's really not any on the glass. I don't know if you saw the reflection. It's really good when you can, yeah, see, there's nothing on the glass. There's a little bit on the outside. I don't know if that picks up artifacts, so I don't go crazy. But I just do that to clean it up. I'll go to the next one. I don't know if you can see it while it's happening. Now the dome's off. Kind of clean it up but you're not risking anything with this you're never gonna ruin the glass or the next one now the dome's off let's see how those looked try to get the reflection see the reflection they're nice and clean this one's got a little stuff that's probably from me pushing on it a little bit and trying to but it comes off real easy paper towel let's see if I got it yeah I mean I could do a little bit better but you get the point like they come off clean you almost don't even have to do what I'm doing it'd probably be easier if you didn't and then it's good to go all right I'm back hopefully this is the same video and not a second one but I cleaned up the board a little bit um I just use a not not tweezers I just use a toothpick you can kind of scrape all that stuff away and then a little bit of alcohol cleans it up well one thing i forgot to do a minute ago was i like to check continuity to make sure de-doming it didn't affect anything i still got power so that's good um sorry for about how loud this video is um i'm right up on the camera and you can see maybe i got them cleaned up and another thing that I was doing too was like take a paper towel and like I wrap it around my finger and then kind of just gently with my fingernail right on the, the glass just the least abrasive as possible gets it done as you can see the, the glass was clean and yeah you should be good to go all right, I guess just to finish it, I wasn't going to do this, but I thought maybe I should. Hopefully this isn't a third video or it won't even make it, but yep, I got them in there. They work. Put this optic back on. If I was putting a reflector back in the light right now, the battery would not be in it. But I'm dealing with a plastic reflector. So, I usually even take the battery out for this, but for the sake of this. So, they're in there. Moonlight. Beautiful LEDs. And it's uh, done.